Welcome back, welcome back to another video. About you right here, and you can see behind me or in the background, you can see there are different, different type of trees from fruit trees to flower trees. You have lucky child right there. Salud. Hold on, respect. Yeah, so you can see there are cocoa trees right here. These are palm trees. You have avocado trees like this one right there. All of this place is full of trees. And we come here today to meet the owner of the place. Yeah, I take the big man himself. Yeah, he is in the office. Uh -huh. um, talking with somebody, right? Yeah. Um, but he is coming very soon. Okay. But it's an amusing thing that I will let you know before he will come out that he is a landscaper. Yeah. And then he's good into flowering, um, um, gardening in any way, in a simple way. But he will let us know what he can capable to do. And he said he did a lot of gardens, like big, big projects. Big, big projects, hotels. So if you are interested in knowing everything that they do here, stay tuned. Stay tuned and make sure you watch this video all the way up to the end. All right, so uh, you have the big man himself right here beside Lucky Child. And he's going to take us around to show you and us everything that they do here what they have here and you'll be amazed i'm so okay so look at you talk to my people in england finland Netherlands, holland norway germany sweden guinea bissau and um, before i turn to my people in america uh, africa and uh, let me ball up and salute my people down in america atlanta miami forward always and um, pick up to my people jamaica and simply the way I will say, grow what you eat and eat what you grow, and go back to the farm. But go back to Kunkoto. That one your name. I'm number one agriculturian in the Gambia. The number one landscaper in the Gambia. Simply the way different kind of trees are here. Simply the way. But he will give us the name of the trees and the use of them and the benefits of them. And simply the way. Um, he will intro himself and um, for the forward but before he will intro himself i would love to invite you when you are new to this channel subscribe um don't forget to um dial that notification bell so that you will be part of 10k um subscribe at forward always as we say we are representing for the gambia our homeland we stand for your work and pray that all may live in unity freedom peace each and every day let's justice guide our actions red white blue white green to the four corners of the world simply the way make sure anything here buy it off make sure everything go off because anywhere nice gambia go everything go down off so make sure you be the first caller and to um arrange your home very beautifully very nicely very amusing but simply the way you can intro yourself to the four corners of the world um, intro yourself um my name is momodo lavin kinte lavin kinte um, I live in Banjulunding. Lemon Banjulunding. Uh, Lemon Banjulunding. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am presently doing landscaping and ornamental gardening. Mm -hmm. Landscaping and? Landscaping and ornamental gardening. Okay. Ornamental gardening. Yeah, ornamental gardening. Okay. Um, that's what I do. But uh, I don't stop only at landscaping. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, uh, nursery management techniques also. Uh, I teach people how to raise seedlings mm -hmm. of different types. Different I do types. also indigenous trees, mm -hmm. trees that are very much um, getting scarce in the Gambia, mm -hmm. in the sub-region rather, mm -hmm. uh, like these local trees, Bantango, Jalo, Keno, mm -hmm. Ula Konoduto, mm -hmm. and all these other little trees that were here, mm -hmm. but unfortunately they are really getting uh, Extinct. Oh. So I, I work on all those ones also, and I call that program, special program, called Revival of the Indigenous Tree Species of the, of the sub -region. Revival? Revival of the Indigenous Tree Species of the sub -region. That is beautiful. I don't want to call it the Gambia, because uh, nature works do not have any boundary of Gambia and Senegal. I love that. It has, <laughs> it has a natural boundary. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on how your landscaping is looking like. How close you are? What is your your weather condition? Mm -hmm. um, so normally I call it a region. Uh, I think our region our region is really suffering mm -hmm. uh, from uh, uh, indigenous tree felling, uh, oh. indiscriminate tree felling in, in our forest, mm -hmm. which uh, which is really rendering us uh, uh, turning our country into a desert. Oh. So there are some trees that uh, really those trees. I think we need to reserve them. That is the tree called mahogany. Mahogany. mahogany yeah. This is a mahogany tree. Wow. And it is two years it's a old. Bantango, eh? No, mahogany. Mahogany. Mahogany tree. It's yeah. not bantango. It's called mahogany tree. Mahogany. Jalo. 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 Jalo, yes. Locally, it's called jalo. Oh. 
Uh, um, this is almost two years old. Wow. I raised them in polypot syrup. Okay. And, uh, you know, because of its fast growing mess, it has grown out of the polypod. Mm. I decided to leave it here, you know, but it was in a polypod. Oh. I grow hundreds of them, hundreds uh, of them here. I decided to, I, I sold them to the community. Uh, nonetheless, also, I do, <coughs> um, I grow uh, also fruit trees. This fruit aspect trees. of it is called uh, agroforest. That is you agriculture forestry. Mm. It's agroforestry. Mm. Okay, Agri yeah. Ag agriculture forestry. These are really dealing with trees that are edible, growing trees which are edible, like avocado. Mm -hmm. This is avocado. And you can locally, make, and you can lo locally called pia. Yeah. yeah, this is avocado. avocado. It's part of the uh, agroforestry trees. Okay. I grow avocado, mango, papaya. oranges, papakaya, um, sisop, soursop. Star palm granite, star fruit, all these are indig uh, uh, agroforestry trees because they are trees that we we can we can grow and eat them. So, do you so have I am doing yeah, I grow palms. Also. palms also. Yeah. Um, we have in, we have, we are doing in the, uh, different types of uh, agricultural practices here. Uh, sometimes I go to um, sometimes uh, I get some companies who are interested uh, trying to uh, uh, contract us. And they will give us uh, uh, a group of people, local communities, to train them how to raise uh, trees. Mm. So that is something that we also sometimes do. We also grow coconuts uh, in polypods, and then we we grow coconut, yeah, we, 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 coconut. We, we got all of them. Oh. We got the dwarf ones, and we got that we got the tall ones. These ones are originated from Ivory Coast. Okay. They are, they are, they are Coconut. Yeah, these are coconuts. Yeah, these are the dwarf ones. types. Ah. Yeah, the short ones. These are the dwarf ones. And uh, look at some of them here. Okay. We also grow bamboo. Bamboo. Because of because we are fearing that we are going to have a, a, a very high rate of uh, uh, deforestation. Yeah. We also want to introduce bamboo oh. so that uh, it could serve us as poles. Mm -hmm. It could also serve us as a. Uh, um, uh, building materials oh, in the future. In future. Yeah. We also grow bananas. You see, these are banana poles. These are banana poles. Yeah. And we also have this one. Uh, 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 oh, the yeah. Also, yeah. yeah. The dwarf one. The dwarf, the, the dwarf one, sir. Okay. The dwarf one, sir. This is the. What is this? This. Uh, these are yucca plants. Ah, yucca. This is normally for uh, as ornamental. Ah. This is yucca, and this is donkey. Dunking. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So these are all ornamental, ornamental things. Yeah. Yeah. This is the sisop. Sisop. Normally it's called sisop. Um, we also grow this. We we uh, understand this is it's a kind of a treatment for cancer. Ah. It's, yeah. Uh, I, I learned it from the internet. Even also. This is yeah. This is uh, a tree that is uh, so that makes it very famous. Wow. Many people do come and buy. Yeah. 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 These are the avocados. Okay. Which later on, sometime in May, I want to graft them, you know, because they are, they are, their stems are thicker. Oh. I want to graft them into the short ones. Mm. So if you come here in the rainy season, you are going to have dwarf, dwarf, uh, dwarf uh, avocados. Wow. Avocados which are going to make fruit for you in, in two years. Oh, you yeah. don't have to wait for four years or eight years. Wow. Yeah, it's going to fruit only one year. That is beautiful. You know, that's, 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 that is, that is, that is, uh, that is the advantage about of grafting ones. And you want to graft all of these yeah, to these other ones? All this. I'm going to graft all of these ones wow. and then get them prepared for sales in July, August. Or around the to, rainy to season. The markets, yeah. Yeah. So, so this you can are, see, these are, these are ornamental farms. Ah. There are different farms. Uh, here we get about seven different types of farms. Can you name them? Yes. Yeah. This one you're seeing, this particular one, it's called the Alexandra palm. Mm -hmm. Alexandra palm. Alexandra palm. From, from, from your country? Normally, it comes from, uh, most of these palms are coming from Florida. Florida? Yeah, in America. Okay. Some of them are, most of them are introduced to us where? From America, uh, from um, America and Brazil. Brazil. Around Cuba also. Some of them are, it depends on the origin. Sometimes when you when you Google them, uh, you get the information mm -hmm. about where they are, where they are coming from. Yeah, this one, no, this one is from Florida. Yeah, it's called the Alexander Palm. This is the King's Palm. 
king spam. King spam. <laughs> and this is the queen spam. Oh. King and queen. Yeah, you have the king spam mm -hmm. and you have the queen. So how can you differentiate them? Yeah, naturally look at them. Yeah. You you see the you see the shaping. Yeah. Look at the shape living. Oh yeah. And this one is more green. Mm -hmm. okay. You can see the shapes are so close this to one is yeah, big. Yeah, 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 this one is smaller mm -hmm. relatively. And this ones are bigger yeah, comparing to this one. And then the spacing also between the leaves. Yeah. Look at the yeah. spacing. The spacing. Oh, yeah. This yeah. one is too close. This one is very one. close, yeah. and this one is yeah, a little bit far. Yeah. 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 The, the, these ones are the. This is the king, and this is the queen palm. Yeah. The Alexandra palm. We have to go back in it. Oh. You can see the leaf leaf styles. I see. It's gonna make two leaves on oh. this side, oh. one on this side, oh. two, two oh. here on this side, and one inside. You see, right. two see. is here. You see, <laughs> one, uh, one is on the, on the other side. So you see how how it is making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it seems to make. All around, uh -huh. there are some also. We got another type which is called foxtail palm. Okay, it's also called foxtail palm. Yeah, if you look at it, the, it looks like the, the tail of a fox. Ah, I so see. So it's called it's called a foxtail palm. Okay, yeah. you have an example of it here. Yes, yes, yes. We have it here. It's on it. We got we got another one which is called bamboo palm. Bam. bam? Bamboo palm. No, this is not, not moringa. Yes, we plant moringa, but this is not moringa. Oh, not moringa this is pride of Barbados. Oh. The leaves look, look yeah, alike. It, it looks like it is a pride of Barbados. You see the one flowering there? Yes. You see the flowering there? Yes. The yellow, yeah, this one right here. Flower. Yeah, the one with the yellow flower. Yes. That's the small one of it. It's called, oh. pride, it's called pride of Barbados. This other one is called Alayanda. Oh. The other one there. The red one? Yeah, the, red, the, one, the, the one with the, the red. Pink one. Oh, the, the pink, pink flower. One is called, uh, you wanted to show us the foxtail. Yeah, you'll see that this is the Manila palm. Manila. Originally originated from Cuba. Mm. You can also look at the leaf leaf style. Yeah, it's much broader. Although oh. yeah, it's more, much broader mm -hmm. and it's kind of yellow, yes. Okay, yes, yes. It's yes. not that green. It's yeah, kind of a yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll show you uh, all the types of palms here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is Manila. Manila. Beautiful trees. Beautiful trees. You see, they are also growing bananas. Bananas, yes. And what are these? These uh, yeah, green and yellow. Are, they are called croton. Croton. It's a flower. Yeah. Croton. It's a flora. It's a flower. Wow. They are called croton. It's a big family. Uh -huh. so how many type of flowers are you having here? The types. Yeah. I don't even know how many types I have here. <laughs> and there are a lot, I've man. Got a lot of flowers. Sometimes <laughs> I buy some of them when I see them with people. I buy them. I introduce them and see. How they are growing. Okay. You know, some of them are soft, sun loving, some are shade loving, some are 12 hours sun, 12 hours uh, uh, shade also. Oh. So that they will like sun, but not too much sun. So, which one can you advise my people like when they want to buy flowers for you? Yeah. And the one they will use in their homes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The indoor ones, those ones that are called indoor, yeah. you have those types apart. Mm -hmm. If you request for the uh, an indoor one, I will give you. If you also request for the one, which is going to be outdoor, completely on the sun, mm. I will give you. Okay. If you want that, to, that is going to be on the shade. It's not going to be very much shade, but oh. at least an open area. Yes. I will also give you. So it oh. depends on your request and how your how your your house is built in the Gambia here. After we knowing the direction of the sun, you know, we will be able to advise you where you are going to put your flower pots. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> so that we will be able to, unless unless you don't take our advice. Uh -huh. But if we advise you, because like. Normally in the morning the sun is not very hot. Uh -huh. Yeah, in the morning the sun is not very hot. So for that case, you can um, you can during that time you can put flowers uh, under 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 uh, I mean not under the sun. You can leave them under the sun, mm -hmm. and they will not be very 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 suffering. Oh. But normally around around three o'clock to four the sun is very hot. In that time, you have to make sure that you get. Those that really are resistant to sun, or those who are sun loving, those are the ones that are supposed to be under the shade at that time. Okay. You can see this is the silk cotton tree, silk. locally called Bantang. Oh, Bantang. Yeah. I even grow those these ones here. Yeah? You see, it's in a polypod. Yes. It's in yes. a bag. Yes. You can grow it. Yeah, yeah Bantang. Uh -huh. uh, you have the Bungkung also. You can go ahead. Garabi Laube. Ah. Yeah, Garabi Laube. Bungkung. Okay. This is the one, it's a soft timber. This is this is the Bungkung. Oh yeah, we used to see this in the bush when Galabi, we were kids. Galabi, Galabi, yeah, yeah, Galabi, yeah. It's a soft timber. Yeah. Most of these uh, one by twelve uh -huh. that the carpenters use 
for you know I mean land land construction. Yes. They use this timber. Ah. You know, it's a soft timber. It's called bunkong. Bunkong. Yeah, no oh yeah, I used to see bunkong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what it's called. In fact, it's we did a video some time back about um bunkong. about uh woods. Yeah. So they showed me one and they said this one is a bunkong. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that so that is that is it. That's what we are doing. We are also growing oranges, oranges. lime. This is the common malina. Uh -huh. uh, malina is a. Uh, it's really yeah. very much, uh, it's, it's an exotic tree. Yeah. It's introduced to us here in the Gambia by Burua. Burua? Burua. Burua oh. brought it from, uh, Burua brought it from uh, Lebanon. Oh, okay. And he brought it here and used it as a, as a, as a kind of an example. Yes, how are you? Are you okay? He brought it to us here uh, from Lebanon mm -hmm. to see, so that when we lose our natural trees, we will be able to use that because it has a best, very fast growing uh, characteristic oh. Oh. which is really going to help us it so that we use that for that. That is the, the malina. The and you can re reproduce it very fast. Very fast. Yeah. Very, yeah. very fast. Yeah. This malina is less than one year. It's, oh. it's almost one year. Wow, look at it. I will say it's almost one year. Yeah, it's wow. bigger, big bigger going up. Yeah. And, and who is the one in Brikama? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it who? Is, it is, it is my, Burwa. My father's mom, that's my grandmom, yeah. planted over there. Yeah, you see, it's Burwa brought it. Who is Burwa? Burwa is the... The, the, the man who, who introduced oh. parks and wildlife. Ah, and that's this park, that and, is wildlife. This park and wildlife. Okay. He okay. introduced forestry into the Gambia. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, Can know, he, he constructed. He, he constructed this. Uh, yeah. This uh, reserve here. Oh, that's why they, they call, call it. Sometimes call it, uh, sometimes yeah, they call it Burua. Yeah, sometimes Burua. Sometimes Burua. Oh yes, Burua. yes. So, so, yeah, he was so. the first director of uh, parks and wildlife in the Gambia. I see. In the colonial days. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. So, that's what I mean. Fox. Yeah, I wanted to see that fox. What's the name again? Okay, hold it. Let me, let me I, I wanted to see that fox tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's uh, go to the other side. Okay. I'll show you. The... And I like this yellow. What is the name of this? This is called Duranta. Duranta. Yeah, Duranta. It's a very nice one. A very nice one. And most people mix it with the red one over yeah, you there. You can use it as the euphobia. That one is called euphobia. Euphobia. Yeah. That is the and red the one. The other one I have there is called uh, Bougainvillea. The pink one. Yeah, the pink one is called Bougainvillea. Oh. You I see, see the. Uh, you, hibiscus. Yes, yes. That is the red flower. That is the other one over there. Four, it comes in four colors. Ah. Yeah, I mean you have tree, uh, a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, we got some. Uh, this Christmas tree that we call. You know, Christmas trees are. It's like. Uh, it's different. different. This one is called Alocoria. That is okay, a small one here. Um, yeah, this is the. Uh, uh, this is called. Uh, it's called Alocoria. Alocoria. But they call so call it Christmas tree. Oh. But I'll show you. The, uh, the other ones also that we call ship, uh, uh, Christmas tree. But. The, the real name for it is, is Cypress. Cypress? Yeah. Cypress is the real name for it. Right? Yep. This is the ah, this one. It's a nice one. This is what wow, it looks so flat. Yeah. It's beautiful. So, uh, this, the, real name, the real name is uh, uh, how do you call it? Cypress. Cypress. Yeah. This is the hibiscus. Hibiscus. But this one is yellow. Okay. It's yellow hibiscus. You see the red one there? Uh huh. See oh, the, the flower is yeah. You see the flower there? Ah, uh, yeah. I can see yeah. it right here. That's this one. The red one there. This hibiscus. This is the yellow one. Okay. Yellow hibiscus. Oh. This is the ginger plant. Ginger plant. Yeah, ginger plant. You see? Okay. That is the areca palm. That's Arica another type palm. of palm. Wow. It's areca palm. You have a lot of different different kind of trees right here. Yeah, yeah we plant, we plant This one is a baoba tree. This is called French Japanese. French Japanese. French, ja French? French Japanese. Oh, oh, okay. It plant. also comes in red and white flowers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. If you remember, this is Ficus. Ficus. Ficus comes in, in also four colors. This is the white one. This is the yellow one. And you have the variegated one behind there. Oh, different you, color. Yeah, yeah, you have the green one. Okay. So it's a variegated white, um, or, uh, like a yellow. Yellow. Yeah. And you have the green one. Lots so of different kind of trees. Comes in three colors. Oh, the that's the green one. Yeah, that's the green one. Okay. So that is what we're doing. This is also. Uh, it's called spindle palm. Spindle palm. Yeah, it's also a palm family. It's called spindle palm. It, it produces fruit uh, or it's a flower? It's, it produces fruit, but it's a flower. We are uh, not eating anything either. Okay. Uh, and by the way, if you are... This, this is the bottle palm. Bottle palm. Bottle this palm. One. Yeah, this one. Oh. This is the bottle palm. Okay. If, you, if, if it makes this thing, at the base of it, 
it really makes like a bottle. You really oh. look at it as a bottle. Okay. So it's called bottle palm. Yeah. Because of its formation. Yeah. This is the triangular palm. Ah. Triangular you look palm. at it. You look at it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Shape. Yeah. Shape. It has a shape yeah. of a triangle. Yeah. 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 So that that is why it's called triangle. And that one is a different. This is the cycas palm. Cycas palm. This is the cycas palm. Yeah. Wow. The cycas palm. Lots of different kind of palm, right? Yeah. Okay, if you remember, we said this is the uh, Alexandra palm. Yes, you can yes, see the yes, new shape. Yes, yes, it's yes. the Alexandra palm. So, and you see, this is the king's palm. Uh -huh. That's the one we showed. Okay. okay. What about if somebody is need of 500 straight up, what? 500 um um different kind of um palm. Yeah, you can have it. We're gonna produce it. You see how many how many palms we have? Yes. Yeah, so a lot this of is, this is called jasmine. 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 Very interested plant. Ah. It's now flowering. Okay. If you come here at 7 o'clock, you don't need any spray. Oh, yeah? Yes. If it is making flowers, uh -huh. if you come here at 7 o'clock, you don't need any spray. Up to 7 in the morning. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All here, you can relax here. Wow. It will be like somebody is putting spray. Wow. On. That's beautiful. It's called, it's called, night, it's called night jasmine. Oh. Night. We have two types of jasmine. We have yeah. the night. You have, the old, this one. you have the all day, all day jasmine. Uh -huh. You have the night jasmine, and you have the day, day jasmine. Wow. So you have three. This is the night one. That's a beautiful yeah, one. We, we sold our last, uh, the last all day, uh -huh. all day jasmine. Okay. The all day, it smells. We, I think we sold the last two. Wow. Yeah. And also, like, uh, it is also important we discuss about the prices. I'm sure most people will be interested in prices. Yes, we will, we will, I will let you know. Okay. Let's talk about this miracle tree. That is uh, a yeah, miracle tree. This is moringa. the moringa. Moringa tree. This is the moringa. Yeah. We 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 like to have this all the time in the garden. Yeah. Because you see, some people will come and ask us. Okay. They want yeah, to take their bag. Yeah. Some yeah, will come yeah. and ask us to get the leaves, leaves okay. and so on and so forth. So yeah. we are also serving here uh -huh. uh, people who really want to come over. I see. To pick up. Wow. Well, all this is avocado. Avocados. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Moringa sometimes you sell the seeds. Uh -huh. yes. Sometimes people will come and then we are going to collect the seeds for them uh -huh. and sell it. Sometimes we will grow them in polypots okay. and sell them out to, to people. Yeah. That's something we do. Yeah. These are all this is man. Yeah. 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 I can see a bottle. Yes. I can see a bottle. Okay, I, I want to show you the, la the last palm. Yeah. Uh, you can see this is, the, this is the Manila palm. Manila palm. You know when they grow big, that's how they look like. Yes. Yeah. Wow, lots of different kind of trees. These are oranges. These are the small cycas palms. Oh. This is lime. Lime. lime yeah, okay. We are growing lime in hundreds. Okay. So that in the rainy season, yeah, they will be here. This is this is the ordinary oranges. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. this is oranges. This so is these are the malinas. These are the shoes up here. Yeah, these are the malinas. Yeah. That is the foxtail palm. Oh. You see? Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Look at the wolfing. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. It's so. like wolfing. You see? Yeah. That's why it's called foxtail. Wow. <laughs> you see? Just like I see. I see. Yeah. I see. Foxtail. I see. You see the leaves? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's looking like a fox tail. So, so lots yeah, of different kind of like fox tail. palms right here. That I think this, is, this one is the royal palm. Royal Although palm. It's very small. It's yeah, royal but palm. it's the royal palm. Yeah, yeah. this is the royal palm. Yeah, but it's very small. It's gonna grow uh -huh. big and make a ball like this. The ball will be this big. Oh, like. I see. The one that have a straight stem yeah, straight and ball, then start just opening like up. A modern supermarket. Okay, I see. Supermarket. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what we are doing. Yeah. I get lime also. This is lime. Wow. I grew papakaya here, but yeah. later on in May, uh -huh. I want to fill all this area with papakaya. Papaya. papaya over there. Yeah. 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 I, I sell. I also sell them now, but I sell them more in the rainy season because yeah. they are doing very well. In yeah. And these are mangoes. These are no. These are lollipops. Lollipop. Lollipops. Lollipops. Okay. Uh, lollipops. These are the. I will show you. In, uh -huh. When you come out, you see them now. I them up. Okay. Wow, this is an interesting one. This is the yellow fitters you can see. Yeah. This is the white one. White one. And that's the very good one. Okay. Uh -huh. 
You see those this low tall trees there? Oh yeah, this they one. They are the lollipop. Oh, they are the smaller ones. I get it. I see. Yeah. This one are usually very nice around the fence. Exactly. Very yeah, very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. The, the one behind is the green figures. Mm -hmm. Like this one. The oh, same family. Okay. That's the one inside. Yes. But well, you see the one there? Ah, the other one over like there. The, locally, like they call it kumpo. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Kumpo, so 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 yeah. yeah that, that's the, that's I want the one right there. If I can zoom in for you, you can see. This one This one right here. Euphobia. Yeah, euphobia. Yeah, I used to see most people would mix this yeah. and that yeah. yellow, yellow one over one. there. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. you can mix them. Yeah. You can mix them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, um, how about their pricing? Can you give us a general price for most uh, of them? Well, um, in the rainy season, yes. What we do in the rainy season, like most of these uh, uh, food trees, yeah. we sell them at 150. 150. Most of these food trees. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we sell them at 150. Right? Okay, okay. Yeah, like mangoes and oranges. But for flowers, yeah. sometimes they range from $25 uh -huh. up to $1,000, $1,500 to $2,000. Depending that, on the quality uh -huh. and, the, and, the, and the age. Okay, You know, okay. when they are big, we sell them. But for orange, for uh, fruit trees, yeah. most of it we sell them at 150 150 Lime also. We sell it far less than 150, like oh. 25 dollars. Okay. We used to sell it at 25 if you are buying a large quantity. Wow, okay. Like between 50 dollars and 50 And those will be the ones, okay, those are the limes over yeah, here. Yeah, these are the limes. Okay, and those okay. are the, our natural limes. Yeah, those, that's the natural yellow ones. Okay, uh, that okay. That is the oranges here. Those are the oranges. These are malina. Yeah. These ones are kaba. Kaba. Oh, you sell kaba as well. Yes, we have kaba here. Wow, you don't leave anything behind. Yeah. You see, you see this is beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those ones are called lenko. 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 Absilia oh. africana. Okay. That is the that is the Absilia africana. You see this them? one right here. Yeah. You see them? Okay. This is the sito. Yeah. The common sito. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, the uh, baobab. Baobab. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Okay, so lucky child, I think we have covered. Lucky child. So I think we have. Co okay, what are these ones? I think I don't think we covered this. This one. This ones are, they are called sizels. Sizels. Normally you use them for fencing. Ah, I see. When you when you want to do a natural fence. Yes. You want yes. to create a natural fence. Exactly. You can plant them together as they are. Uh huh. And then they they used to grow and then bring suckers around. Ah. And they grow for ten years. Oh yeah. When they wow. are up to ten years, wow. they will they will begin to reproduce uh -huh. and die themselves. Okay, that's they beautiful. They grow for ten years and then die themselves. Uh, okay. So what they do is, you will see right at the center here, uh -huh. they are going to bring up a stock. Oh. And this stock is going to have hundreds of thousands of small ones. Okay. okay. And when those ones are ripe, yes. they will just drop them. And then start. And eventually, the, the mothers will die. Wow. So it ne it so never wants to die. They have a ten year life wow. span. And these ones. It's like they're gonna be there as natural friends forever. Yeah, natural friends. So long wow. as you have them, when they yeah. drop, yeah, when they drop, yeah, the other ones are going to come. Wow. Yeah, when they when they drop, they will begin to grow. Uh, it will be very good yeah. to to fence your bush yeah, farm. Yeah, you can fence you can fence your garden with yeah, yeah, and permanent permanent fence. Because of this, uh, what's the name again? The These tongue, sharp points, the yeah, the tongue. Yeah. So most people will not cross they it. Will not, or animals will not, animals will not, will not even come in. Wow, wow. No wow. animal will come in. Yeah. Okay. The extension. Yeah. Oh, okay. wow, big love. And here also, we are growing different types of trees. Normally, we use here as a as a treatment center ah. for, for when we when we want to grow some of them. The sun is very hot. Yeah. We will grow, we bring them here, and then nurse them. You see, oh. these are the kumpo, the kumpo, kumpo trees, yes, the yes, small yes, ones yes, you yes, saw. Yes, yes. This is the way we nurse them here. Uh -huh. When they are big, we will take them out. And then go and out plant them into the into the polypods. And that, that is, is the bamboo. Bamboo, yeah. yeah, the yellow bamboo. Wow. We also grow bamboo. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 The green, we grow the green, and we and we grow the yellow. Also. Yellow one. So you see, right now we are preparing for the rainy season. Yeah. To produce as much plants as possible. Mm -hmm. As we are now, these are some of the palms that we grow. You see, we are filling our polypods yeah. and getting ready. We want to produce up to 10,000 casu, uh, casu seedlings. Wow. 10,000. This year, yeah, 10,000. And we want to <laughs> we want to support schools, uh, work with communities who are really interested, uh -huh. and give them a wonderful price. You know, we want to grow as much as possible and give them at the lowest price possible. There are some people also who want to support their villages and give them trees. Those ones also, we want to give them special prices because those ones are still... Uh, kind of the, helping their own communities as they are they themselves are not here 
they want to benefit their communities in any form. Yeah. So we are we are ready to grow as much as possible. As possible. Yeah. yeah. This is the line also. It's a line. The line you show there also we want to make this. And this is Neto. 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 <laughs> wow. Number one farmer in Africa. Yeah Zambia, man. So so Zambia, so so. You know? <laughs> so. Lollipops. Uh. The kumpo. Yeah. What is this one? Ones? Yeah. This is Lenko. Absilia Africana, yeah, I yeah. show you there. Africana, yeah. These are the ones we they are just new. Oh. You know, we, we you see how they are germinating. Yeah. You know, that's the that's the Lenko. We just planted some jalos here. Yeah. This jala jo. Jalo, yeah. These are the jalos. Here, yeah, here and here. Oh. It's all jalo. Yeah. And they have do they have seeds? Yeah, I'll show you the seed. Oh. I'll show you the seed. Okay. Yeah. Jalo. Well, we uh, we estimate there is about 1,700 on each row. Wow! Yeah, on each row we have 1,700. We planted some uh, uh, acacia albida. Uh -huh. This is baransang. Baransang. Yeah, we put it, we planted some baransang here and there. Baransang. Yeah. Yeah. The, what is good about baransang is that even if it is in your farm, normally in the rainy season it's going to shed all its leaves. So you can grow anything under the tree, and it will not be. There will be no shade cast. Ah. So locally, they will say that uh, the Baransango is telling people that no idle farmer will sit under me. Okay. Because I'm not going to provide any shade for you. <laughs> but in the in the rainy season or in the dry season, they will flourish and bring and bring and bring. Wow. There, there, there. And yeah. in that time, nobody is working there. Yes. Yeah, so. And maybe you may not even the last. Uh -huh. Yeah. And normally they are also good, very good in nitrogen fixing. That is why most of the time farmers would want it. Uh, some of these organizations would also come and buy it. Baransawa. So, Baransawa. So that is why we do it. Wow. wow. You know, wow. we get a lot of uh, this, all this is here. Yeah. We try to make a small garden here. Uh -huh. But, you know, we just started it. Yeah. We planted some tanjos, kuchas. Okay. Yeah, okra. And and wow. Wow. So we'll be able to do the cooking here. Yes. Yeah, we so. don't want to, um, we don't want to go and buy everything. Yeah. Since we are here doing gardening. We want to include this uh, household, household, uh, local gardening, where we are going to produce our own foods. Look, that is beautiful. You are a real farmer. We are a real farmer. Yeah. Yeah. We are the yeah. number one farmer yeah. right now yeah. Yeah. Um, in the Gambia. The most, um, the number one farmer I ever met in the Gambia. Yeah. They plant different kind of trees, flowers, yeah. 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 and stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, but simply the way, right at the moment, as we are talking, um, I want you to advise our Gambian brothers who are in here and out there that um, farming um, is number one in the Gambia, which farming is number one in Africa. So what kind of advice do you have for our, our own people so well, that they will invest into farming? Um, that is wonderful. Uh, this is a wonderful question. Yeah. Um, really, I'm always interested that um, we, we focus towards that area. Yeah. You know, when I want to say certain things, maybe people will think that um, I am against this backway issue. Yeah. You always call I them. mean, the, I will call this backway issue mm -hmm. as a kind of uh, um, making our societies to be idle, idle. to be spoon-fed. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you go to a compound, there is one boy who is living in Italy. He, he comes and he built a house here. His mother, who is very productive, will come and stay with his wife. And then his brothers, those who are around and they don't have anything to do, will all come and stay. And he's going to work in Italy, bring all this money he has for the family feeding. And all those guys are going to sit around and produce nothing. nothing. They will not go to produce into our industries. They will not go and into, into our farming section. They will not do anything. They will just get up because lunch is coming. Madam has gone to the market <laughs> because uh, brother has sent the money to him, yeah. so he's supposed to keep us. <laughs> so they will just sit down and brew their attire, attire and yeah. do nothing absolutely. Yeah, man, we have to go. Back I mean, to the I farm. think yeah. we really have to go back and work on our own yes. and make sure that we are. And I want to advise our brothers yeah. that this situation that we are in, in yeah. should not be politicalized. Yes, it is the world. The whole world is suffering from this issue. Yeah. Covid has started yeah. and over. But right now, there is a war that is almost coming here. I understand. And next year, mm. if you don't go out and grow anything, things are likely going to even get worse. Because those countries mm -hmm. are now concentrating more in the war and they don't have any time to produce anything for themselves. Anything for themselves. And they may produce what they want to eat, <laughs> yeah. but they may not produce for you here. So you better get up and produce something for yourself. Yes, or yes. else, 
We will be changing our governments, but our situations will never change. Mm. We will be changing our, our uh, pa pa parliament members, but our situation will never change. Because our parliament members are us, and we are our parliament members. Mm. Our presidents are us, we and we are, are our, our presidents. Yes. So we, we should not sit, just sit down there and think that the presidents are responsible for everything. Every day. I think that is a joke. I really think that is a yeah. joke. We should get up and work yeah. and make sure that we get everything right for our country. Right, yeah. I think that's what I have for the Gambia. Yeah, man, I close down a certain jungle. <laughs> get up and work so that you can own your dollars, your euro, your pound, your safer. Simply dial him. Talk to him if you need more advice. Dial him. Talk to him live and direct the number one farmer done in Gambia. The garden or the nursery um, plant is done located within between Lamen and Abuko, done at the center opposite the nature reserve. Simply the way. Talk to him live and direct, uh, Mr. Um, Cise or Mr. Ture. Yeah? Modu Lamen Kinte. So dial him forward. Talk to him live and direct. Gambian Kongale Kong or Kongo Kelling of Ma Pai, Katun Ko, Aliamo, I move for it, Ajibi, Papa Pap, a quarter of Pruntor, Sanya Yeltele, Angamurun Kungo, Katun Mamal, Mumul, a metal dog who all day, and the dog who kill a massive office without pen and paper, signing and paper. I miss the agriculture is number one in Africa, less focused and deeper. Uncle, it's a number, it's a number. Three nine five seven eight six four on WhatsApp. What's up? 78720445 on WhatsApp. 7957864. Normal line. Normal line. So I have two WhatsApp numbers. Mm -hmm. The first two, 3957864, uh, 7872045, and the other one is 7957864. Nine, nine, uh, right. These are the three numbers. Thank you so much for your time. Talk to him, yes. Yeah.